What's up guys, it's John with GoSD. In this video I'm going to show you how to replace your slider door handle. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go inside and pop the interior handle off and a part of our slider. So we don't need to remove this panel all the way, we just need to remove it enough that we can access this screw right here. This is what holds the outer handle into the van. So the installation of our new handle is going to be reverse or removal. However, if you don't want to have two separate keys, I'll show you how to re-key this handle as well. Alright, so before disassembly on this handle, we want to make sure that we go and clean it up. You can use any mild solvent to do that. It's hard to see at first glance, but if you look closer, underneath all this dirt is a set screw that we need to remove to be able to get the tumbler out. You have to be very careful when removing the set screw as it's easy to strip. First thing we want to do is clear away all that grime to access the head of the screw. So now that we've cleaned it out, you can see the small flathead set screw that's in there. You want to be very careful when removing the screw and don't lose it. We're going to reuse it. So with our set screw out, you want to insert your key into the tumbler, use a pick or a small flathead screwdriver, and press the tumbler out of the handle. Unless you are re-keying the lock, it is safest to keep the key in the cylinder. The reason for this is that each cylinder has seven different tumblers in it, each tumbler under load of a small spring, trying to push it out from the cylinder. When the key is inserted, the tumblers are brought into alignment with the outer surface area of the cylinder. If the key is incorrect, the tumblers stay proud of the cylinder in the handle and don't allow the lock to operate. You can, however, clean the cylinder and tumblers fairly well with the key still inserted. There's a spring that should come out with the tumbler if it doesn't. You'll also want to remove this bar. At this point it's good to take some time, use some solvent, and clean the individual parts. I like to lubricate these tumblers with some extra fine graphite powder. It's best to keep a dry lubricant in here so that it doesn't collect dirt or grime. Once we have that tumbler removed, we're ready to put our stock tumbler in so that our keys are the same. I like to put a little bit of graphite down into the handle as well. One of the first things we want to do is slide this pin back into the handle at the bottom. Make sure the notch in the pin faces toward the outside of the handle. If you look closely at this tumbler, you'll see that one end of it protrudes farther than the rest. That end of the tumbler that protrudes registers into that bar that we just put into the handle. Before we put that in, we need to put this spring back onto the end of the tumbler. You'll notice that there are grooves down inside the handle. This is where the ears of that spring will sit to bring it back to neutral when the key isn't in the tumbler. So you want to make sure that you put the spring on in the correct orientation on the tumbler. With our spring in and pin in the handle, we can put the tumbler into the handle. With our factory tumbler in our new handle, we can put the set screw back into the handle. It's good to use a little bit of blue Loctite on it. You don't want to tighten the set screw down, you just want it to register in enough to keep the tumbler into the handle. I like to tighten it till I feel it stop against the handle and then back it off one full turn. Be sure to check your key for proper function before you put it back into the vehicle. Also test that the tumbler can't come out of the handle. If both of those things are good, we can go ahead and put it into the van. If your old escution looks like this one and is deteriorating, it's probably a good time to replace it with a new one, which we sell on our site. So installation is reverse removal. We're just going to put this in here and attach it the same way we took it out. That's 
So that's all you need to do to replace your slider door handle. <laughs> Tune in to the next video when I paint a van in under an hour. <laughs>